Hi, this is Matt. Uh, this is part two of the Know Your Heart Valve series, and today we're going to talk about the pulmonic valve. The pulmonic valve separates the right ventricle from the um, pulmonary arterial system, which brings blood from the right ventricle to the lungs. A uh, very important uh, transition of the uh, circulation of blood in the heart to go to the lungs to pick up oxygen. So the pulmonic valve uh, normally uh, opens and provides uh, a transition or a transit uh, of the blood from the right ventricle to the pulmonary arteries where it picks up oxygen and gets rid of waste products. If, for whatever reason, the pulmonic valve does not work right, sometimes uh, reasons for this can be there's an increased pressure within the uh, pulmonary arterial system, which makes it more difficult for it to open. It's kind of like if you imagine uh, a lock on uh, a river when boats go downstream, and there's an increased volume of fluid on the other side of the locks, then it can be more difficult to open the locks, um, and that way permit flow of fluids. It's no different for the pulmonic valve if there is increased pressure, and that can come from lung disease, uh, a number of things, smoking, so don't smoke, never smoke. It's terrible for your lungs, and it's really bad for your heart. So um, if the pulmonic valve has problems opening, then it takes more pressure from the right ventricle to pump the blood to the lungs. So it's more work and it can affect the efficiency of delivering uh, the blood to the lungs such that oxygen can be obtained for the blood, which is necessary for all the cells of the body, and also for the um, um, taking the waste products out of the blood, that exchange process. So, and you could also have a backflow of blood if it's really extreme across the pulmonic valve into the right ventricle. And that also is bad because that is creating a, an, uh, an inadequate amount of blood flow to the lungs to uh, get oxygen, get rid of waste products, and go out to the body. Another uh, problem that can exist is that you are born without a pulmonic valve. And if that happens, uh, that's a very serious problem. And that will be a topic of a future presentation. Uh, there are a number of interventions and surgeries that are available that's um, very complex that uh, frequently has to be done early in uh, the life of a newborn or a child and um, that is um, very involved and uh, would be done by uh, a congenital uh, heart expert, a uh, pediatric cardiologist at one of the few uh, centers in the United States or other countries that, that do such procedures. So that's basically it. The pulmonic valve is the gateway between the right ventricle and the cardiopulmonary system and uh, plays a, a very important role. And if it works fine, it, it's great. And if it doesn't, it usually causes problems in regards to oxygenation. And that's part two of the Know Your Heart uh, valve series, and I'll be back with an, another part uh, in the future. Okay, thanks. Bye.